So Dustin, let's spend some time talking about why it is so important to work with a fiduciary. I know that we've discussed it here on the show that uh, the title or the word fiduciary has been in the news quite a bit. I don't know that that's a title or a term that everybody understands, but what is a fiduciary and why is it so important? Yeah, most people, I mean, I, I find it funny now that it is a buzzword and really nobody knows what it means and why would they? It's not a word that we use every day. Uh, really, the, the difference is, and I always equate it to, it's, the fiduciary is kind of like someone sitting on your side of the table negotiating on your behalf with the companies, mm -hmm. where a salesperson or a representative is the other uh, standard that they follow, would, would actually represent the companies negotiating against you. Mm -hmm. So I always think it's important to work with a fiduciary it, just because you know that they're, they're going to have your best interest in mind. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about the process that you would go through with a fiduciary. I mean, I know at our firm, Strategic Wealth Designers, we really talk that there's a big difference between advisors that are out there that you can work with. Mm -hmm. uh, we really tend to specialize in those that are closer into retirement, meaning you plan on retiring within about the next 10 years. And at that stage, you really start to move from what we refer to as the accumulation phase yeah. of your retirement planning, where you're trying to accumulate your assets, putting money into a 401k or 403b, things like that and you start to get into the second phase of your retirement planning, which is the distribution phase, yeah. where now you've, uh, you've uh, 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 achieved this certain level of liquid net worth, and you're trying to figure out how do I take this nest egg and turn it into income that's gonna last me the rest of my life. So what would a fiduciary go through in order to try and help somebody through that process? Well, first of all, you have to start with the end in mind. What are we trying to do? We're trying to accomplish a a, a retirement where you don't have to be worried about what's happening in the market every day and watching the stock market. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be paying any fees that are unnecessary. Right. And, and really, you, you need to understand how much risk not only are you not only are you comfortable with, but how much do you really need? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times people are comfortable with a certain level of risk, but they don't really need to have that much. Mm -hmm. So a fiduciary is really going to help you to find out what is it going to take to to accomplish your goals. Yeah. Now we have a few tools in the office to help individuals through that type of process. I think it first and foremost starts with our retirement income analysis, mm -hmm. where like Dustin was talking about, we can get together and look at all of your goals, your objectives, you know, what is it that you're trying to accomplish? What type of income do you need? For how long do you think you're gonna need it to last? Uh, and then take a look at what your current situation looks like as far as income. You know, how much are you gonna get from Social Security? Are you gonna have a pension plan or not? Mm -hmm. You have so much money in your 401k plan or IRAs, how much income will you be able to draw from those? And then we really map that out all the way to, to age 100, Yeah. right? Yeah. Now, part of that process, you said that we take a look at the fees mm -hmm. take a look and the risk as well. Can you talk That's about right. that a little bit? Yeah, so I find it, most everyone you talk to thinks they're paying 1% a year. I mean, that's the most common answer I get it. I get it almost daily. Mm -hmm. But when we really dig in and we look at not only the fear you, that you're paying your advisor, which that's what everyone's familiar with. They know they're paying their advisor something. Mm -hmm. Most of the time it's 1%, 1.5%, 1 something like that. Mm -hmm. But if they, if they have mutual funds in their portfolio, that's only one of the fees. Yeah. So you have to look at each individual mutual fund to find out what's really going on under the hood. So sometimes there could be two or three or four or five different fees that we have to add up in total. That's right, that's yeah. right. And you know, they, they could find out what their fees are, but the way they do it, you know, to, to disclose those fees to the client, it's not real easy to find. Right, and that's why we have what we refer to as a strategic wealth report, where all these different numbers that Dustin and myself are really discussing, we put it on a simple, easy to read, just one page report. Mm -hmm. We can take a look at all the different accounts that you have and show you exactly what the fee is that you're paying. We put in a percentage amount, we put in a dollar amount, total it up, and obviously that's something for you to keep. Mm -hmm. Now, what about risk? How do we determine how much risk? Yeah, that, that's an interesting one as well. I know that when you go into a, a brokerage house and, and they assign you a number, they ask you, what's your, what's your comfort level? You go through and you take all the tests, the 20 que questions or whatever, and then they give you the beautiful printout that says you're a moderate investor. But moderate actually means you're comfortable with a 30% per potential drop or 30% per risk in, in your portfolio. And we find that when our clients say moderate, they mean they're only comfortable with maybe 8% <laughs> no, They, were, they like really that. weren't thinking 30%. Right, right. right. Yeah. right. So there's a, there's a massive disconnect in what's really going on versus what the client is not only comfortable with, but what do they really need. Mm -hmm. So we can use a, a software, the, the stress test, where we actually plug in the client stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, whatever they currently have, mm -hmm. and then we can run it against just about any scenario that you can think yeah, of. Yeah, that's something that I really like about the program because you have all these things that can happen to you during your retirement or leading up to retirement, uh, whether it be another market correction mm -hmm. or 
you know, some sort of uh, military exercise that happens overseas, or maybe the economy improves or it doesn't improve. And what if interest rates go up or don't? Right. right. So, so we basically can stress test the portfolio against each of those different scenarios and see what the projected impact would be. Now, when we do that, really kind of what we're looking for are any common denominators. Are we seeing a problem, mm -hmm. you know, across multiple situations that obviously we might want to address right. and might want to try and find some ways to reduce the uh, level of risk. So, you know, I know that we, we tie this all up in, in, in kind of a package mm -hmm. that we provide to those that are closer into retirement. So why don't you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, it's called the Blueprint. It, it's a great tool that I know if, if clients are retired already, or especially if they're within 10 years of retirement, the blueprint includes all of that. So you, got, mm -hmm. you, you get to look at what are your fees? Are there anywhere you could reduce those? You can look at how much risk is currently there. Do you really need that much? And then really the retirement income analysis is where it ties everything together. That's where you can see how much your social security is going to be, how much to maximize your pension, or how do you leverage these assets now that you know what they are? How do you leverage those for income? And then how long is that money going to last you? And, and that's really what we're discussing here. And that's why it's so important that you work with a fiduciary because mm -hmm. that's kind of what our fiduciary process is. Again, we've, we've uh, called that the, the blueprint that we provide for those that are close or into retirement. And it's really important as you're closer into retirement, again, meaning within about 10 years of possibly needing to use your retirement assets, mm -hmm. why don't you wrap us up here by talking about how important it is to make sure that you're not just working with a salesperson or someone that's just kind of trying to push product, but really working with a true fiduciary. Yeah, I know that because it's become such a hot topic, a lot of times people think that everyone has to be a fiduciary now, and that's just mm -hmm. not the case. There, there are some rules now that people have to follow, but that's not for all of the client's dollars. Mm -hmm. So they may be tied to these rules in one portion, but not necessarily the other. So you always want to make sure that whenever you're working with someone, they are a true fiduciary. They're a registered investment advisor or maybe a certified financial planner but you want to make sure that they're fiduciary and that they have your goals and objectives in the front of their mind. Okay, well, great. Well, anybody that would like more information about our fiduciary process, again, called The Blueprint, please feel free to give us a call at the office uh, and or visit our website.